and 10th career postseason home runs. That's an Astros playoff record. Marwin Gonzalez with two more hits and three more RBIs. He had a team best 538 for the series. If they gave out an MVP for the ALDS, he'd get it. And Carlos Correa breaks out of his slump to crush a three-run homer, part of a sixth-run eighth. The Astros celebrated. Oh, special. I've been feeling good all series long, seeing good pitches, taking my walks here and there. Uh, it was just a matter of time, and you know, I was able to connect with that fastball. Um, and, you know, it felt great, it felt great. And, you know, it was a comfortable lead. What's it like to celebrate? Uh, it's awesome to celebrate, man. You can never take these moments for granted. You never know when you're going to miss on the playoffs. So uh, every single chance you get, you got to enjoy these beautiful moments. One step closer to another World Series. What do you think? Absolutely. One step closer. That's, that's our main goal since we got to spring training. It's always special. Anytime you, you can clench or get a celebration of pop these bottles, it's always going to be a great time. For me personally, I'm, I'm never going to not enjoy it. So it, it's always a blast for me to come in here and be able to share this moment with my teammates. What was it like watching George go wild? <laughs> it's always fun watching George go wild. Becoming really close friends with him over the last two years. He's been a real special guy to be a part of. You know, not only be a teammate, but to be a friend. And the thing he just does on that field is pretty spectacular from what he does to, you know, that two bays and the break. But it's really fun for, for me to step back and be a part of this team. What does it mean to see Carlos break out? Huge. Yeah, that big swing, that last sweep for him had to be huge for him. I know he's been, you know, not feeling his best and not doing his best to the end of the year. But, you know, we were talking about it before that at bat. If we get him going, this is going to be something that's uh, going to be close to a repeat. Awesome, man. I don't even know how to explain it, really. Uh, we grind all year. Uh, I, I know not to take anything for granted, but this is a special team. Uh, really, I mean, it's so talented, top to bottom. We're all the same mindset. We all just want to win, you know, and it's win at all costs. However you can, you know, scratch, claw. Nobody wants to be the hero, or everybody wants to be the hero. I don't know which one, you know. Honestly, like, everybody's okay with whoever is the hero. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It's a great atmosphere. It's an atmosphere that breeds winning from top to bottom, everybody in here. And um, I'm just really happy to be a part of it. I'm just really proud of our team. You know, it's, it's hard to, to win in this league. And I know our guys, uh, you know, make it look easy sometimes. We had a nice game today, but I'm just really, really proud. Every team's different. Uh, we get two more of these celebrations. We're going to really bring something special back to Houston. It's really cool. Uh, we envision ourselves here, but we knew had, we had a tough team in the Indians. And and, and uh, I mean, what can you say? This team is uh, resilient, and, and, uh, and we've got a high octane offense for our, our pretty good pitching staff. Complete, complete team. What would you like to say to Astros Nation? We appreciate you guys. We know you're we know you're back in Houston. We uh, we, we heard you travel well here, um, and we can't wait to get can't wait to get back and celebrate with you guys, and then go to the championship series. What's happening inside you right now? Just a lot of excitement. I mean, this is step one to, to where we want to go, but uh, this is sweet. That's a tough ball club that we just uh, that we just swept. So we're going to enjoy this and get ready for round two. First playoff sweep in Astros franchise history. How does that hit you? <laughs> step one. <laughs> step one. This is We're all going to enjoy this tonight and probably tomorrow and then turn the page and get ready for who we're going to play. But this is a special team top to bottom, 1 to 25. Uh, pitching staff. Uh, bullpen. We run the bases. Our lineup is as deep as any lineup I've ever been around. So we're, we're, we're ready. We're ready for this this run, and, and, and it's going to be exciting. We're trying to become the first team in 18 years to, to go back-to-back. What do you think about that and yeah. where you're at now? Yeah, and, and in today's game, to, to do that is, is, is very, very hard. What do you think about what George Springer did today? He's an animal. An animal. Uh, no, no, no moments too big. He's an animal. He's, he's, he's a free safety playing baseball. His athleticism is off the charts. He's one of the best defensive outfielders in the game. He just, he does it all. And speaking of animals, Alex Bregman says Carlos Correa is going to be an animal the rest of this postseason. And if that's the case, the rest of baseball is in trouble. Live in Cleveland, Mark Berman, Fox 26 Sports.